This is SQL 101. Uh, the end goal for this session is uh, having a five sentence pitch of uh, what you know and what you can do in SQL. Having a 25 line portfolio of SQL code if you were to put it on your GitHub account. Understand when to use and when to not use SQL. And finally understanding having group by subqueries, joins and having these in your arsenal. So we talk about in this session versions and platform for SQL like different versions and uh, platforms that you can use on the cloud. Then we start with the questions. Why do we need SQL? What's the problem with Excel? And we go deeper like the trouble in Excel and pivot tables in Excel versus what we can do in SQL and automation and you cannot have uh, access control and all those kind of stuff. Then we move into the roles in SQL and we are more focused on the analytics part and not the development part about creating tables, creating relationship, creating security. So for this session, it's most about querying. Uh, then we look into what are asset properties. Then we move quickly into creating our first database for the session and decide which columns would we add. So we use dbfiddle to run our database. So when I click on dbfiddle, site opens up and I can use the code from my slide for dbfiddle. So the project class data talks about who's attending the class, where are they coming from, how are they rating the class, the average salary, and then we use SQL to make some analytical cases for that. So the table that we create uh, includes uh, this heading and we create two tables so that we can join those two tables and understand different kind of joins. Now to create the table we use dbfiddle which is here. So to create the table for the session we would just copy the code and keep pasting it on the dbfiddle and create run. If it gives some error it's because of these codes. So I correct it and I run it and then if I were to select I would write select start from attendees and it showed up. Then we go ahead and create the other table. After creating the table we go ahead and look at group buys and filtering. So the first group buy which is to find out uh, to group by sector and find out the average age. Then we go deeper into how can we use these tools in our day-to-day -day life. So we use this to find out what we can do in Excel using pivot table and how to do in SQL in pivot table. You have to refresh the data again and again. It's not automated. You have to open the file while SQL. It's read-only access in a lot more beautiful way. The end goal is to calculate average salary of the class, financial sector, average age of the sector, and rating. We also would use uh, joints. So the goal for the session remains uh, how to use group by and joins. Those are the two things that I go heavy on. And when we use group by, this is the complete syntax, which includes select column name from table name, where condition, group by, having, and order by. So this is one major goal for the session is to understand group by. And joins, when we create joins, so there are three types of join, full join, inner join, and how to join that we go and look into. Then we look into union and union all. Then we look into sub queries, which is a query inside a query. And then we look into the null values and how to handle that. So the full code for doing all of this is on slide 27. And we can copy paste the full code into dbfiddle. So this is very quick about what we do in our SQL 101 session. You can check out these notes and practice something here. Hope to see you in the session. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.